<laughs> a little water bug. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so we are back. Had a nice little vacation after all the puppies sold, which translated means I did nothing for like a week and slept as much as possible because of shit like that. Got all the puppies into a happy home so I could relax. I have to get up early to feed puppies and clean up poop. So now we are back to work on the 54. We left off last time with how to build the steering shaft and the components needed to do it. So now we're working on actually installing it, which is never as easy as it was on paper. Join us, won't you? Let's see how well we can see this, but... We got the output spline, then a two inch long piece of D shaft connecting two together there so it kicks out a little towards the motor and then comes up next to the shock it's kind of hitting a little but this is still free to move this ended up being shorter than uh, the recommended lengths because I didn't have my first knuckle start here and then go down because of this uh, due to this header pipe being in the way here I may still have to dent this header a little to make sure I don't have any clearance issues right there and if you uh, if you want to comment below about how I'm going to lose horsepower, please be my guest and click the link in the video description, taking you to the video produced by, was it Engine Masters? One of those guys from Motor Train, the same dude, uh, Freiberger from Roadkill. They beat the piss out of those headers with a hammer until they were, I don't know, maybe a half inch on all four and then they finally saw a drop in horsepower which was only like five horsepower. I don't know how that's possible. I don't understand it either. I would have never in a million years claimed that based on, uh, you know, logic. But they had a full exhaust system with a muffler and they beat these almost flat before they finally saw a dip in horsepower. So I'm not too worried about a little dent in that one header tube to, uh, clear that so now the next step is i need to get my heim joint out here with my two lock collars i've got another lock collar i'm gonna put up here to keep this from moving around and then i, I think i want to drill a hole in this guy and use that to mount the stabilizer heim that will keep this from moving around and hitting stuff because if you just turn it right now it's going to get all loosey-goosey once you go more than two u-joints you have to have a stabilizing union in there somewhere see what i mean so I have to space this off, maybe even notch this out and get that done. I'm also getting the harness in. I'm gonna punch a hole right about there. Have the entire harness wind backwards and go through one hole to the computer under the dash. So as long as the Colorado sunshine abides, we're gonna be working on that today. 